Oh, my fridge is bright red. Spoon man! Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of the new Spoon record. They want my soul. This is the latest full-length LP from Austin, Texas-based band Spoon, an indie-slash-alternative rock group who penned some of the most commercially and artistically solvent records in these genres in the 2000s. Albums that might not have been the most cutting edge in rock music ever or for that time period, but they were certainly loaded with catchy songs, strong grooves, and a really impassioned vocal delivery from frontman Britt Daniel that would have certainly resonated with people no matter what decade you placed it in. Records like Girls Can Tell, and Kill the Moonlight, and Gimme Fiction, and Ga 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 Ga. And one thing that I've always admired about Spoon, as they have progressed and gotten more popular and, and made hit singles that did their reputation wonders, they continued to deliver albums with very organic, natural sounding recordings. The typically warm bass, the really loud, clear, crispy drums, the thin, crunchy guitars, occasionally the band weaving in strings, piano, tambourine, and even in their poppiest moments, Spoon finds ways to experiment, add a little bit of noise and, and grit to some of their recordings. Either that or delivering songs that are incredibly stripped back, surprisingly skeletal. Now, at this point, it's been four years since the release of Spoon's last full-length LP, Transference. Not a high point, a high watermark in their discography, but not really a catastrophic disappointment either. And that's the thing about Spoon. They've put out so many records at this point that have consistently delivered uh, roughly the same sound with some very minor alterations here and there. They're a band that... Uh, I don't think is ever going to really disappoint their fan base. At least not in a blaze of unpredictable glory, anyway. Once again, with this new record, Spoon delivers a roughly straightforward pop and rock album that has some hits and has some misses. The track list on this thing is loaded with good singles or tracks that could potentially become singles, like with the song Knock Knock Knock, which has this beat on it that has almost like a hip hop boom bap timbre to it. And then acoustic guitars are laid on top of this beat that have this really dramatic chord progression. Then comes in some whistling, some slasher flick string sections. Spoon isn't always this layered on this album and throughout their discography, but when they are, it's great. Then there's the song Do You, a really punchy little pop rock single that has a nice little refrain to it. Do you? It's got a nice beat to it, a sweet rhythm acoustic guitar. It's just a lean, mean pop rock machine. And there's some other tracks on here that sort of fit that same bill as well. What is the most appealing thing about them is that they're really straightforward and accessible and sticky. Like the title track off of this LP. The track Rainy Taxi resonates with me as well. It's got these really water, moody melodies rippling across one of the nastiest beats I've heard in an indie rock song in a while. Brit delivers some really urgent lyricism on this track. There's some noisy pianos scattered throughout the song too. This is the kind of weird, noisy, instrumental studio experimentation that appeals to me on so many Beatles records. And as modern as Spoon sounds, you can really pick up on a lot of musical quirks from that era, the 60s and 70s, that, that ring true in their music today, like the song Let Me Be Mine, which starts off with the kind of rock groovery that led to iconic songs like Gary Glitter's Rock and Roll. Now, there are some songs on this LP that don't really appeal to me that much for one reason or another. For one, the opening track, Rent I Pay. Another song where Spoon picks a groove and sticks with it nearly throughout the entire track, this weird staccato cha-cha-cha. And this groove gets incredibly stale by the end of the tracks. Very uh, abrupt end, even though the song is three minutes with how quickly the song just crumbles into dust. It feels like almost half a song. Then there's the song Inside Out, one of the notoriously stripped back and minimal tracks in the Spoon album track listing this time around. However, this side of Spoon's persona has never really been an incredible selling point for me. There's another track on here that seems to be sort of about unrequited love and brings a lot of eye roll lyrics like, <laughs> you said you needed me like an 
ocean needs sand. Does an ocean need sand? The ocean has a lot of sand to begin with. Or maybe she didn't mean it like that. It's moments like this where I kind of find myself nodding my head in agreement with the resounding criticism that Spoon is kind of generic and that their music isn't that adventurous. But for every spot on this LP that's that's like that, there is a moment on here like the closer, which to me instrumentally is incredibly risky for Spoon, has all these weird bubbling, cascading synthesizer notes, just blah, 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 blah. and what kind of sounds like a very spare and, and lonely xylophone melody playing itself throughout the song too. It's an interesting closer and I think kind of a brave finish to this LP. Again, Spoon is just kind of a trusty band. This record is nothing that really blows me away, but I certainly found myself enjoying much of the LP. I guess I can kind of liken this band and this record in general to like a, a, a car, a really good car that you've owned for like a year and you know it's going to start and it's going to get you to where you need to be safely. I know not the most thrilling or envelope pushing scenario in the world, but I think there still should be bands out there that are just writing really concise, straightforward, consistent, solid pop rock records with great production, good instrumentation, and catchy songs. Spoon does that here, and they do it well, as many people predicted that they would, given their back history. I'm feeling a decent to strong seven on this thing. Tran. Zishin, if you've given this LP a listen, what did you think of it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Why? What do you think I should review next? And that's it. Anthony Fantano. Spoon. Forever.